Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Lemon King here, back from Disney vacation, back from Florida. It's, it, it was sad coming back home, looking at the temperature drop. It was down in the 80s down there, and then it comes down now, it's in the 60s. It's disappointing, but we're back with Minecraft, and today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break from our survival and hardcore series because of the new update that came out 14 to 17a or something like that that added in a whole bunch more world options so we're going to call this super survival and this is going to be completely epic um we're going to put a bonus chest on just to start because this is going to be crazy i'm doing it right now cheats i will turn on but the world type super flat and I just buy them now. Amplified now. We can now customize it in this new snapshot. And yeah. So we're gonna just gonna mess with this. Hopefully it doesn't crash, because it can. So sea level. We're gonna make a little bit of lower sea level. Or we can put all it. Um how are we gonna do sea level? More water or less. Put it down. Let's just put it like 42. Stronghold, yep. Mine chest, yep. Green, yep. Bending count. Water lake rarity. Actually, yeah. Leave this here just so we don't get a lot of lakes. Apparently, it's about 50. Oh, it's a little bit 50. Biomes, we're gonna do all biomes. So you can change that all over the place to all different kinds of biomes. We're gonna do just all of them. River size, all the way up. Biome size, all the way up. Yep, root. Oh, yeah, we gotta have oceans. Um, but one thing I do want to mention is if you do get this, there are presets. You can do it all water. Isle, Cave Earth Delight, Mountain Madness, Drought, Caves of Chaos, and good luck. Last time I did Caves of Chaos, it crashed the game because there was not enough memory to hold the game, so we're not going to do that. Um, next page, um, Spawn Size of Dirt. Uh, that's, we're going to leave dirt the same, gravel the same. Granite. What we're gonna make this fun is is we're gonna jack all these up except for this one, put that at zero, so they all they can spawn anywhere. So spawn size fifty, spawn tries forty, max height all the way up, down, coal down, up, up, iron up, up, up. Basically, what this will do is it will spawn more of everything. So we're going to have a mass amount of ores to work with here. That's what I want to do. Just mess with the ores and make no. And this is basically the height at which they can spawn. So now diamond can spawn at 0 to max height limit. And I'm going to jack all of them up like that. So we're going to have a lot of ores. Next page. Um, I have no absolute idea what the heck these things do the newly scale. So it's best not to mess with them because if I do something might break, so I'm just not gonna do anything with these. I'm just not gonna go. And random seed. Just pray it doesn't crash. We're praying. We're praying. We're still praying. Praying even more. Keep praying. Don't stop praying. I'm telling you right now. Don't stop praying. How about some music? Do 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 Wow. So 
<laughs> so yeah, we got quite a bit of cores now. Red, sticks, wood. <laughs> God, just so much ore. I actually don't see a lot of. I don't, I don't see a lot of water. I actually want to change that. I'm trying to be more interesting. Just mess with the settings a little bit. More. Oops. Let's make this a little bit higher. We're gonna have to get these things messed up so much that it's just gonna be a heck of a game with all those ores here. It's gonna be hilarious. And I am going to set a world border. I, I'm i trying to remember how you do it. Set world border. I can't remember the exact command. Just trying to remember the exact command for that. Um, slash set world border. Enter. And then the. Uh, what should we call them? What should we call them things? That's what they're called. To set my center point where I start at. And then set world border. Then it's a radius, I think. And we'll try it once this thing loads up again. There's gonna be a lot of ores to work with. That's the fun part. That's what I want to have fun with. We're gonna have so many different ores, just all right there. We're gonna have diamond everything in no time, but I want to make it a little more interesting. Just ores everywhere. Let's make some lava and water and everything. Pop up here. Hopefully, we can. Obviously, the goal of the series. We're gonna actually, I'm gonna actually like think of some things to do, like make a full diamond house or castle or something like that, because it's gonna be boring just gathering up all the resources and then going right to the end. Because the dungeon rarity now is the dungeon spawning is all the way up. So there's gonna be like 50 dungeons. So we're gonna be right there. Come on! Converting world. Why are you converting the world? Yeah. Not gonna question Minecraft video. Do your thing. And this is all this video is gonna be is me getting this world set up because it may crash. But hopefully not. And then the next episode will be hopping in and getting to the good stuff. But you can enjoy looking at this loading world converting world screen with a bunch of dirt in the background. It's beautiful. I'm so hungry, it's supper time, I'm so hungry! That long drive felt almost like... I can tell you about our trip down to Disney in this time period, well... Got down, we left... Friday. Went down to the campground, relaxed for a little bit. And it poured down rain when we got there. It poured, it was a lake outside the camper. Then we left in the morning, went down, got into Orlando, got in there and just relaxed. We went to the Hope Dee Doo review, and that was great. 
That was a great show. I love that show. Quick media review if you go to the Disney Sport Wilderness Campground. It's, it's sweet. It's expensive, like everything in Disney, but it's sweet. Sunday we just relaxed. Me and my dad went golfing at the Disney's Palm Course. That was a really nice course. And then we went back relaxed. Monday we went to Hollywood Studios, went on the rides. My sister's not a big ride fan, but me and my mom went on the uh, Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. That was nice. And went on some of the video tours and everything. Um, then Tuesday we went to Magic Kingdom. We took the boat over from Fort Wilderness to Magic Kingdom, the Kid Castle. Went on some of the rides there. I, I'm actually not, I wasn't too impressed with the uh, amusement parks. I mean, there's just so many people that go on there, and it's, there's not really a lot there. It's not like a thrill park, it's basic stuff and shops. And there's just so many people that got irritating, so we didn't have that much fun. We went on some of the rides in there. We went on Space Mountain, that was over, I think it was overrated. I don't think it was that good. It was just fast. And we spun around, went in space, you couldn't see anything the entire ride, so we're good. But then Wednesday we went to Universal, and that that was a fun trip. We went on the uh, Harry Potter roller coasters, both of them. They were cool, doing flips and turns, groceries, feel like you're flying. Went on the, the Hulk, that was a sweet roller coaster. Everybody was scared of it, looked that it was like so tall, but that was sick. It took you up into the barrel. You were in like, you were in the doctor's lab. It's like, how did you get in here? And you went up. You went through his machine to become the Hulk. You went through, and once you got up to the top of the machine and got in, it launched you right out, zero to like sixty. You went Phew, gone. And when you went through there, it shot you out, spun you around, went down a hill, two lip, two flips, corkscrews, and you don't even know where you are. Then eventually you reached a platform that slowed you down a little bit. You thought it was over, but then it dropped you again. You went down more flips and cork screws. Once you got to the end, they all cheered for you at the end. It's like, good, welcome back, survivors. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I made it. I'm the Hulk. Now I can do anything. Oh, smash. Yeah. That was a good park. I like that park. Um, This thing ever loads. Um, then we left Thursday morning to go to St. Augustine to my dad's co-worker's house, his condo, so that we went to the beach, and went downtown, and went to eat, it was nice, and Friday, me and my dad went to the Golf Hall of Fame and golf on the King of the Bear course, got to see all the trophies, and that was a nice time, we got back and just relaxed, watched some hockey, and that was about it. But do recommendation if you do live in Florida you already know this or live down south. If you do go down there and you decide to go to a restaurant and order food, just remember the food will be for about three people. Because I ordered a chicken breast and rice, and I think they gave me the whole chicken and a giant pan of rice. I couldn't even eat it in two. So I ate some of it there and I took it home and I couldn't even eat the rest of it at the condo. I was like, ah, food, too much food. But it was a good time. We left uh, Saturday morning. Went to a campground in Virginia, Paradise Lake. It was nice. Relaxing. Had some Wi Fi, but it had no cable. That was irritating. No cable. We didn't know what to do. I was forced to watch Frozen. And left Sunday morning. And now here we are. Sunday afternoon. But this thing is just. Oh, I'm going to have to pause it right here, guys, and I'll be. Back when this thing worked. Well, guys, um, yeah, I had to go and change the presets a little bit. It's been two hours since I tried working the last one, and it still hasn't loaded. So I just changed presets to Cavers the Light and altered a few settings, and this is what you get. And obviously, it's a little laggy. Just, just a little. Just a little bit. There we go. We're just gonna look around here and see our landscape a little bit. But this is what came out. I actually spawned under the ocean. I raised the ocean level up quite a bit. And I spawned under the ocean. 
and died repeatedly until I decided that game mode 1 was needed and I put it on it. And this is where I ended up. So I did alter all the ore spawns. And this is our land. Everything is like super tall. This is going to be amazing. Look at this. Awesome stuff. This is going to be fun to ride. Oh, the lag's back. That's because there's so much into these chunks. It's like. This is gonna be fun. We have like giant just rocket pillars coming out of the ground. Lag is uh, intensity. That's how I'm just doing. I'm just trying to fly around, and make the chunks. There's just so much stuff. But we're not gonna be staying over here in the water pillars. We're gonna go on land. <laughs> Because uh, if I just, for instance, we need right there. Go down here. All the way down. All the way down. Very low. It goes all the way down to bedrock. And there's a lot of gravel down here too, but that's what I said it as. There's also a bunch of ores scattered about at the bottom of the ocean. So maybe we'll make it ocean base, you know, but it's really deep and laggy. Just try to fly up to the surface. There you go. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, this is going to be an epic series, guys, and I thank you guys for bearing with me to get all this set up. But I think we're going to have an awesome start here. So. Thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoyed, if you did please remember to leave a like, we greatly appreciate it, as well as comment down below what you want to see from this series, what I should do, and if you overall just like the thought of this thing. Um, any questions about the uh, snapshot update, you, know, you can always ask if you have any special questions like if this does what, and if you have any tips about how to use it, because I have absolutely no idea what those other two pages do. You know, you could let me know. Maybe I could fiddle with those, but all I know is that sometimes it can uh, break it. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.